back, back wall rocks are a good alternative to back wall plates. The back wall plates um, are complete reefs uh, and you can cover a back wall of the aquarium uh, in a very short time and you have a complete reef with enough stands for corals or other invertebrates. The back wall rocks uh, are not so expensive as the back wall plates. They have loose shape, you can combine them uh, with any other material. Uh, they have the same shape as the back wall plate. You have a flat side for glue, you can fix it on wall, you can fi uh, on the glass wall, you can fix it on plastic, wherever you want. And we have uh, two sizes on store. Uh, the smaller one, which you see here, is uh, 30, meter, uh, 30 centimeter uh, in the greatest distance, and uh, this one here is a 50 centimeter. And it's also possible to make them much more bigger when you have a really big aquarium. Then it's an easy way to cover the back wall with these rocks. Uh, to fix it on the glass or whatever you want uh, is aqua bond glue. Uh, this glue. Uh, holds the rocks also fast on uh, not only on glass panels also on plastic and uh, at the end when the rocks come together and you have your free space between them then you can cover them with a mortar which has the same optic as the rocks himself. The size of 30 centimeters is only the distance between two ends of these rocks uh, and maybe it's not so helpful uh, because you want to decorate an area of your back wall. That's why uh, I think we have two examples which makes it a little bit helpful. This here is one square meter, is one meter per one meter. And for this area you need uh, insert 30 centimeter rocks like this here, exactly 20 pieces. Uh, a little bit better maybe is this example. It is a back wall of 150 centimeter and 60 centimeter. And for this one, uh, we use uh, 50 centimeter rocks in four pieces and 30 centimeter rocks in six pieces. And then you can cover uh, the whole area and you can make it perfect with uh, the reef ceramic mortar. In the production process of reef ceramic, we had a lot of dust. It is also the fact when we have them on store or when um, the dealer had them on store. So it's very important when you want to fix it with glue uh, at uh, your panels to clean the surface. And it's very simple. You use only a little bit of fresh water and wash the surface from all sides. So after that, uh, you let it dry for maybe uh, 10 or 20 minutes and then uh, the surface is dry and you can clean uh, this rock directly on your glass panels. When the surfaces are clean, not only from the rocks, also from the glass panels, uh, then we use our aquabond glue, make some small points on the rocks. as I prepared here and then it's very easy to fix these rocks uh, directly on the glass and uh, when they move a little bit you use a little bit of foam and can fix them So that the rocks normally don't move in any way. And then you can build them floor by floor uh, until uh, the complete area is ready.
after a few hours, when the first floors are drying, then we step to the next floor because it's fixed and we can make it higher and higher. Last we want to cover the bigger holes with some broken materials so that we don't use too much mortar and then uh, the first step is ready. Now you see all rocks are fixed and we have a complete measurement of 40 by 80 centimeter, completely 120 centimeter long and it's uh, 70 centimeters high and for this area we need 3 50 centimeter rocks and 10 30 centimeter rocks and so we have the whole area. Now we finished it by Riff ceramic mortar so that we find at the end a real closed rock surface. Done. We have a nice reef ceramic back wall. It's made by ourselves. We have to clean at the end uh, the glass surfaces. Very helpful is a scraper such like this and then all the rest of the surfaces are clean and we have only a reef wall with very good holes inside with places for corals and when we combine it with other 
uh, structures from reef ceramic we get a perfect reef uh, for example we have here a 50 centimeter mini reef and we only use two of these branches and you will see in a very short time we have really a great and a perfect reef structure. Uh, it is not so expensive and it's, it is done in a few hours. When you want to start your aquarium, please fill it first with fresh water for one or two days. Uh, it's better for the chemistry of the mortar. Uh, after that, take the water out, bring osmosis water inside and use a silicate remover. It's very helpful because the mortar is not the same like burnt ceramic and you have a little bit of silicate inside your aquarium but it's very easy to get it out with a professional adsorber. Uh, when you bring your, want to bring your aquarium in a good way please control the alkalinity and there are several products. Uh, our product is Marino Stabil uh, to bring the alkalinity in a good and natural way and then uh, you have the basic for a very, very good reef aquarium.